right, welcome back to part two of Henry's Rubber Ring. So in the last section you were finishing, uh, we started the rubber ring and now we've gone a little bit further and you can see how it's turned into a tube shape. Um, this is the correct side, I'll show you as well, to make sure you've got it the right way around before you start stuffing. The wrong side, if we turn it over, I'm going to struggle to do it. You can tell it doesn't look as defined. Look at that compared to that. You can see the difference. This is nice, clear, defined stitches and defined lines. Whereas that just looks more jumbly, a bit more waffly. It's just not as neat and tidy. That's the inside. So if you find that you're the wrong way around, you can simply flip it inside out and just carry on. It's quite simple. So we'll make sure it's the right way around. Now what we're going to do is start stuffing at this stage. If you don't stuff until the end, you will really struggle to get the stuffing down evenly. Um, so what we're going to do is get a bit of the stuffing from our kit. A little bag it comes in. This is our ball fibre stuffing, which I get so many messages from people asking what it is. It's ball fibre stuffing. It just, because it's tiny little balls, it makes it really easy to distribute it evenly. And it's also fine to, to wash up to higher temperatures and it won't clump as easy as a lot of stuffings would. So I'm just going to push the stuffing down with my finger. Um, what we can do when we finish, we can pop a bit more in that end. We don't want to push it too far out. It'll all be falling out all the way through. So I've pushed it in to about a centimetre away from the end. And then just like that, wiggle it about. Try and get it even. We don't want it really tight because then we'll struggle to get it around Henry and we'll also struggle to get it into the ring shape. It'll be too stiff. So we want it stuffed a bit squishy like a, a firm marshmallow. So we don't want it hard. We don't want it empty. We just want it so we can still squish it. Look. And there's our stuff in. So we're going to carry on working round and round and round till we've got much longer, about 60, 60 rows roughly. But as you're working, don't forget to keep popping a bit more stuffing in as you work. If you forget and you've got a long way to go, it's, it's just really hard to get it even. Um, I'll show you as one last thing how to count the rounds if you wanted to. What we're looking for is the clearly defined line. So one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I would say that is eighteen rounds. We don't count the stitches on the top, they're the ones who are working. The last one we would count would be that one there. So I've got about eighteen. So I'm around a, nearly a third of the way through. Um, so I'm going to carry on until my tube is longer and see you back in a minute. <laughs> 